How's it going, Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I am going to be doing my review for the second episode of The Flash Season 4, which was called Mixed Signals. I want to be completely honest with you guys. This episode was not good. Uh, I could care less for it. The only good parts, we got to see Gypsy again. And Gypsy's and, uh, Gypsy and Cisco's relationship, I'm fine with. It's, uh, it's alright. I just, I should say I do not like Barry and Iris together. It's quite annoying. And I know it's the CW, they have to put relationships. I'm fine with certain relationships. I've talked about this before. I'm fine with certain relationships. But, uh, when there's too much and they bother me, it just gets annoying, fam. Um, so yeah, I, uh, ugh. They went to couples counseling, and, uh, it was retarded. Um. Ah, uh, just, mm -mm. And the other good part was the end with the thinker. Uh, they didn't get spoiled this time. But I think that's what they're going to be doing each season. And honestly, I kind of really like that part, um, of the Flash season four so far. I really am enjoying how the thinker was introduced. He was introduced. We saw him. Uh, he first appeared in the last episode, and this season we're just going to be gradually um, showing what the Thinker, his minions, so to speak, his uh, villains he's created or whatever, because um, we know that um, Kill, what is what was his name, Kill something, the uh, dude we saw in this episode, the villain of this episode, and then the Samurai last episode, um, are all like his quote-unquote minions, Um you know, how the guy said in the cell, he's like, I'm, we're not, and I'm not the only one, or blah, blah, blah. Uh, there will be more, and I hope each villain of the season is, quote-unquote, a minion of the uh, thinker. Um, and it's just gradually going to be unraveled uh, with each villain. They're going to, and eventually, somehow, they're going to find out who the thinker is. Like, a villain is going to end up accidentally saying, um... The Thinker, blah, 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 or uh, DeVoe, I think, is how they would probably refer to him as, uh, instead of The Thinker. Um, so they'd be like, who's DeVoe? And then they'd be like, oh, wait, I remember my um, future self was talking about this or something like that. And then, yeah, um, they'll be like, oh, DeVoe, The Thinker. So it'll, it's, a, it's a gradual thing. I don't think anytime soon. They don't usually find out about the main villain until like episode six-ish. Um, so yeah, uh, but, re but really cool, I really like that, uh, angle, um, of how they're going on things, um, with the thinker, and I'm, like, I'm really excited to see what else he has in store for us, uh, the new suit was cool, that was another big part of this episode with Barry getting his new suit, which we kind of, kind of saw a little bit of it in the last episode, more so in this episode, um, you know, with the raft, um, built-in thing, and, it's basically like just a tech suit, kind of ridiculous. I don't want to say unnecessary, but uh, there's one point where he puts his hand out and shoots Wally, and I'm like, because uh, he's getting controlled by the uh, dude. I don't know his name. I think his name's like Kill something. It's Kill something. I don't. I don't know. Um, and he like shoots Wally because he's getting controlled um, with the tech. Um, and I was like, bro, are you Iron Man? Yes, one's Marvel, one's DC. But still, I was like. Barry, are you Iron Man? Is you Iron Man? Uh, no, but a little, uh, little too overpowered there, Cisco, with the tech. And, of course, you know, we have Cisco uh, dealing with his relationship with Gypsy, which I said at the beginning of this review. It's fine. It's, it's fine. One, one, one day. Gypsy called it. And I thought we were going to see Breacher this episode with Danny Trejo, but, ah, didn't happen. It didn't happen. I was honestly quite disappointed. Um... I have to watch the end of the promo because on my DVR the uh, last part of the of the promo for next week got cut out. So we'll do predictions as always, and I don't know if Danny Trejo is in the uh, next episode. But they did the promo after the premiere last week, and everyone was thinking that that was going to be this episode. Usually for TV shows, I try to remember this myself. Usually for TV shows, they it's for the season, and not like the entire twenty three episodes for the first like three four episodes or so. So we'll see if Danny Trejo, uh, Breach, or Gypsy's father is going to be in this episode. 
in the next episode. Which I'm assuming, if not, probably in the fourth episode. Um, because they said Gypsy was going to be a reoccurring character on The Flash. Just not in every episode. Uh, she, she, they said she was a series regular, quote-unquote. Um, but yeah, this episode was alright. I'd give it, honestly, below average score. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Um, because 6.5 is average, so... Yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this episode down in the comments below. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.